Mm, th thank you, Mr. Clark. May I recognize the Minister of International Relations and Cooperation of the Republic of South Africa and our guest of honor, Dr. <coughs> Naledi Panda. In fact, it's written here, here it is written in absentia, but she's present. The Bureau of the Pan African Parliament, which has just been introduced, Your Excellency, the Chairperson of the Permanent Representatives Committee, of Ambassador Lamin Thiao, esteemed members of Pan African Parliament, distinguished Excellencies, members of the PRC. I'm jumping those that are not here yet. Uh, members of the technical team of ambassadors in South Africa, Acting Secretary General of the AUC, Mr. Thiam Noho, and your staff, clerk of, uh, Acting Clerk of Pan African Parliament, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency Minister Naledi Panda, first of all, I want to say on behalf of the Bureau and the whole Parliament, I want to thank you. Thank you for being here this present this morning because everyone understands or would, would have understood why you were not in this room. There is a very important conference of the, the ruling party of this country, the ANC, which is going on. And for you to leave, because that's where the power comes from. But for you to excuse yourself and be here, I think it's a serious commitment to Pan-African Parliament and the PRC. And I think we need to give a pump pump for that. May I also thank the chairperson of the PRC, Ambassador Lamin Thiel, for working very hard with his colleagues to get this uh, retreat a, a reality. I know with ambassadors and PRC, they have so many commitments. It's not easy, and especially towards Christmas, so we should give him a, a, also a pam pam. <laughs> yeah, chairperson of the PRC. We are, because the minister is rushing, we don't want to go too far in terms of um, why we are here. A minister, we are here because we want the PRC and the Pan African Parliament to work harmoniously going into the future. PAP has just been reborn. PAP has been reborn and want to be welcomed by everybody, but more so the organs of the AU. And more so the PRC. That they are called permanent representative. Then they say committee, but they want to use permanent representatives. They are the only ones who are permanent. No other organ is called permanent. And uh, the word representative also means something. When you talk to them, they will say, we represent our member states, the interests of member states. As a result, they scrutinize also everything. So I want to say the PRS is a very key organ in terms of uh, management and the future of the union. That's why we are in this retreat. In fact, sometimes you give and take from organs. That's why we also need you. In fact, this retreat was conceived first in 2020, February 2020 in Addis, and I was in that meeting when we agreed that let's hold a, a retreat in order to enable the PRC to share with PAP 
from their hearts what they think about Pan-African Parliament, how they think they can strengthen Pan-African Parliament, and what the future should be, and how we should work together. This was against a background that I should be honest about. It was because several issues had been raised about Pan-African Parliament, which I will not go into detail. They will come later in our discussions. But some PRC had expressed a lot of concerns about Pan-African Parliament, mainly arising from audit reports. And there was the issue of implementation of audit recommendations. That's basically where the, the concerns were. And they were very deep concerns. And I believe, to some extent, we lost certain things because of those concerns. And when we lost, we also felt, as they say, felt the pinch as, as a parliament, that even operating as a parliament became a problem. Then we said, let's meet in retreat. And in 2021, we didn't meet in 2020 because of COVID. 2021, we agreed we meet in April 2021. But we all then realized that Papa was going to hold elections in May after one month and leadership may change. So it was better we hold the retreat after a new leadership in 2021, after May 2021. Unfortunately, the elections, as we all know, were aborted. And for one year, PAP was on recess. Now we have a new bureau. Now, from the 29th of June, it is working, running, and has since held a workshop, a three-day workshop in, in August, where we said we need a pan African parliament to introspect. So three days of introspection, we did. And the part of that introspection, we said, do we really understand where PAP come from? Why it was established? What are the issues for it to operate, we said, let us reinvent ourselves. Let us reinvigorate, re-energize. And that is the mood at PAP. And then we are here to say the PRC, here is a team, here is a parliament that is now keen, first of all, to ensure that these audit concerns are addressed. Secondly, we are really focused and energized we want to change the image of PAP within the union and outside the union among all stakeholders. And that's why we are very serious. And we we'll talk of things that we've already done. We've achieved a few things within six months. We'll go into details later on this. And so we, we, we want to, after this meeting, the two days, to come up with a new culture, a new relationship, synergize. The parliament and the PRC will synergize. Otherwise, let's look forward. And I conclude, and for the minister needs to go back, so I need to conclude quick. Then all the issues will come out later. But I want to close with a quote from an author called C.C. Lewis, who said, you can't go back and change the past. But you can start where you are and change the future. That's why we are here. Thank you very much.